Back to going rogue. Hello. So when you last saw us, we had basically got our gear. And so the aim for today is to beat the third boss. So let's hope we can do it. So what I'm going to do is get us a, a couple of stacks of potions because we're most likely going to need them. Uh, while we're also here, we should be able to finish upgrading our gear. I mean, to a point. Let's have a look at one more of them. There we go. Right, so we've got ourselves some gear. We've got all the armor that we could possibly get from the Golem Dungeon. It's upgraded. The sword and shield is fully upgraded. The bow is nearly upgraded. Let's do it. This is our aim today. I mean, I'll probably still pick up some gear and, and, and drop it, but we are pretty much, we've sort of opened up most of the dungeon, to be honest. There we go, right. Oop, that's me learning how to block. Okay, so, yeah, we've got two rooms and then a fountain leading up to the big boss. Dear God, let's hope we can do it. I don't think there's anything, yeah, you know, there shouldn't be anything in these chests anymore due to, you know. Uh, reasons. Where are we? Right, oh yeah, I remember you. Spider thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, I cannot. Maybe I can grab you. Right. Here we go. Right, let's do it. Oh, hello. Golem King. Okay, right, okay, he can drop rocks like that. He's aiming. Okay. Maybe oh, up. Doesn't really allow much in terms of Okay, what's he gonna do? Is oh, ow. Let's just ow. Let's just whack it. Ow. Right, there's a potion. Okay, so it's now back. Okay, he sends us back again. Quickly do this because he's gonna fire a laser. Ah, oh, well, that was anticlimactic, but. Ugh. What's that? Is that a key? I think it's a key. And a chest behind him. Ah, stairs. Right. Okay. It's open. Oh, what's this? The Golem King Amulet. Ring that boosts the owner's health also adds the weight of a golem to the wearer. Okay, right. Well, let's us quick move all that into our infantry. Let's get out of here. One could say I over-prepared, but... Oh, wait, hold on. Excuse me. See this, this cheap-ass stuff here? You know, I don't even need you anymore for now. Grab them. Uh, 
No. <laughs> I'm messing around with an eyeball. Can I? I'll wait to send it through the teleport as well, but. Oh well. We've done it. Well, I didn't really escape with the pendant, did I? Anyway. What we have done. is unlocked first door and hello father figure grandfather figure yes oh uh, on the door opened maybe Pete oh yeah crazy Pete why is it not Well, yay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'll learn how to expand, but Andre over at Vulcan's Forge is preparing some new gear. He predicts an influx of materials from the forest dungeon to occur, as people become more brazen due to your recent actions. Oh god. I won't have your demise on my shoulders. Well, don't worry, you won't. I am the best. Oh, thanks. Hi, right, that's the forest dungeon then, that we've got access to. Which means at this point... <laughs> We want to now be working on, so again we're still trying to go for movement speed over anything else it seems to be the way. Oh yeah, it's on the wish list already, that's on the wish list. Ah good, I already set them all up, right, and yeah, already set everything on the wish list. So we got what we need, in terms of what we need on the wish list at least. So now we have, well, the hawker is still there, the banker won't be there yet. So right, first things first then. We get rid of, what's it called? Right, also first thing, I want to just quick, I want to equip this and just see what it does. Doesn't seem to do anything in terms of the weight of a golem. Anyway, right, let us. So, golem history 2 we don't know. Or golem history 3. We know golem history 1 goes in there, so. I'd say. If we put these on here, let's, let's put one for. 5. Or like that, you never know. Uh, Golem volume, which we do know sells for the right amount. So there's that. We then have these are still too cheap. Let's put on the seventeen fifty and see what happens there. What about you? Too cheap. 1500 about you I'm gonna go with too cheap yep again 1500 and as for golden king jottings put it at 3000 we'll see what happens right let's protect ourselves from thieves and open the shop just remember that's how we tackle them Right, so twenty-seven fifty-four for that, which is the right price. We we knew that. Okay, and sell. So so we need to now 
Let's start getting the money for... Okay, 5,000. Not enough. Uh, too much. Let's go... 4,500. Okay, 4,000 is not... Hmm. So maybe at that point, 3,500. Oh, that's that look like 3,500? No, 3,400. Come on. And the Golem King jottings are too expensive, so 2750? Fifteen hundred, right price for that. That's not the right price though. Okay. I'm starting to learn here. Right. So I'm sure they just ended up on Yeah, the too much list, so fifteen hundred. Go with that. And as for you, that's uh, four thousand. That three thousand five hundred was too expensive as well, wasn't it? So three thousand. Meanwhile, we should be placing more stuff on. Uh, we know you can sell, and we know you can sell. All right, thief. Go try it. Yeah. That's right. On to you. I said I'm on to you. Get out. Right, back on there. And are we selling them at the right price? Yeah, we are. Good. It's you that we're not, isn't it? Yeah. So let's say seven. 850? A thousand? Ugh. 3,500, my final offer. It's never going to be my final offer, right? Anyway, you, take that gold, iron thing. No! Oh, okay, alright, alright. 3,000. For you. And then 2,500 for you? Maybe. Ah, good. They went. And that went. We got the prices. Hello. Anything else? Yeah, Golden King Energy Crystals. Don't know how much you're worth, so we're going to put them on for a thousand each. Oh, come on! 2750 for you then. Uh. Come on. One guys. There we go. Sell you. Sell you. Ah, oh, balls. Oh. Everything's still too cheap. Oh, well, well, we're here. Then we can close up shop afterwards. Okay, cool, right. Goodbye, everyone.
32,000 made. Not bad. Right. Where's my... Potion's an important gift. Why are you using heat? Oh my god. They're in the wrong box. Damn it. Well. I know what we can do on here. You sell fine. You are still... Like that. There we go. Perfect. Right. The forest dungeon awaits. Or does it yet? We could probably build... Yeah, we've got the money now. So, well done. Town? Damn it, can't request him during the night. Well, what about shop improvements? I have an idea. I have an idea. We will buy us a new till. It's now a silver cash register. 20% extra money and we'll keep hold of this because I don't know what the costs of escaping are going to be. That's always something that I need to learn beforehand. Right, let's read. Forest dungeon. Dungeon available to heroes. Not recommended for merchants. I'm both. So, we already know parts of the forest dungeon due to being able to go through those weird holes. But, it's now... Ow. Ow. Now it's a case that we need to now learn new stuff. Got hit enough that I've lost a temporary health already. That's. I can get out of here. So, you. I was about to say, you're going to be my new. Like slimes? That's a no. Right, what else have we got in here? What's this? Well, into the bottom of the bag. Good, we got some ancient wood ready for our shim is a bow. Aha! Here we go, that's our new jelly, isn't it? Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, this is a right old dead end. So we're just doing an exploration. We're not going to face the first boss. Oh, hello. Crazy Pete's camp. Now it's time to read new stuff. Patterns. Oh yes, these dungeons do indeed have patterns. You may think they are random. You may even think they are chaotic. But no. No, they are actually quite the opposite. There is reason and repetition. Some sort of divine guide? A template of sorts followed every time the dungeon rebuilds itself. For instance, we all know there are three floors to a dungeon. But have you noticed how this healing hot spring appears on every floor? And how it always appears on the path towards the next floor? Placed not only to assist and heal, but also guide? These dungeons basically want you to find the treasure. Uh, yes, Crazy Pete, we did know that. Generally, if you found a hot spring, you were on the right track. Right, uh, this way now then. Okay, alright. Ow, pain. Swack you from that side. Yeah, I knew they'd be falling bits. Right, okay, we've got you, get you. Open. Sweet, more of that. I want that. More this for whatever it is we're crafting. By the way, um do that. And then we got that right. Which way do we go now? Should we go down? Yeah, let's go down. Hot spring! So we know we're near the end of the, the, the dungeon on that side. Right. 
What are you? Oh, we're not going to attempt to figure it out. And in this side. Ow, pain. Dodge. Right. Oh, and I'm sure we can beat the first boss. I don't know why I used the potion, because the hot spring right here. But what's this say? We've yet to discover the perpetrator, who was of a year ago destroyed several of our experiments. Now much of our research materials are disappearing on a daily basis. Hmm. Hello, boss. Maru tree. Goodbye. Well, that was easy, and it was easy enough that we're just going to go up the next floor. So we know what on our wish list, right? So we have enough uh, fabric. You know, we have enough things. We nearly got enough for a lot of stuff, but we need more. Basically, is the uh, is the response to that. Ah, right, you know what? Floor two. It died pretty easily, so as far as I'm concerned, we move on. Okay, right, let's go by going this way first. My friends. What the heck are you? Ow, oh, ow, poison. Ah, bugger. So avoid the green business, okay. Right, and as for you, I don't... There we go. Now we're going to do this. Uh -huh. No, that's not how we're going to do it. Okay. What's in here now? We don't know. Uh, well, I guess we'll figure out what one of you are. Sure. Nutritive water. So it's going to be a whole load of new stuff that I need to learn the prices of. We're nearly full, so... The heck? Oh, okay. Ow, pain. Right. I'm trusting to think on this idea that... We're not gonna... Stick them in there. There we go. Right, now the question is, do we do we save our progress or do we come out? I'm on the idea that we come out. Yeah, we'll do that. Does leave. Because on this at the end of this episode now I'm gonna go shopping or do the shop one more time. Um Have we? No. Not worth getting. We don't have enough brand mm -hmm. rate of stuff. We have like one thing off. That's that's really annoying. Right. The other thing is, I'm just going to quickly go over to wherever she is. Where is she? I'm down. We're checking potions. Right, so we need both. But based on that, we're going to remove that from the wish list. I'm going to put that one on in its place. They're going to be the better uh, things. Potions. So, take that into account. And then, one last thing that we're going to do before we go and sell for the final time for the episode is we're going to not invest in the shop, invest in the town. We will invest in the hawker.
Hello, town's one builder. Goodbye. So, we have the hawker, Alan. I crafted decoration to remind people what it's like to feel again. If your shop is in need of a little decor, stop by hawkers. Ah. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Now, of course, we can only place one item in there at the moment, but we've got something to, to consider. Okay, let us enter. Right, so we already have bits of gear on there, but what we're going to do first is just clear out the stuff that we're not going to need, so... So that's our wish list for items. This is our wish list for. Our wish list is our chest for. Um, potions and enchanting. Excuse me. The empowering crystals in there as well. Right. So we know that they're all good still. And so, at this point, we know that they are really worth more than 150. So let's go 250 and see what happens. You, you're worth 100. And probably around... Well, you see, it can't be that that's what they're worth, really, surely. Ooh, we'll give it a try. So this doesn't have a... Yeah, if that's supposed to be, if this is supposed to be in order of what they're supposed to be worth, we know what they're worth at least 60. <laughs> but also less than 1275. That's an interesting thing. Well, we're going to learn together. So let's put these at... No, I'll put them at 500 and we'll just see how they go. Whoops. Whoops. And we know they're worth more than that, so we'll just do it. 500 a shot, and at least that way, we know that if they're not selling... Then... We're at least not losing the items by selling them too cheap. Right, let's go. Uh, whoops. Open. Oh, got a. Uh, I think it's my bop, an appraiser. And we know that that'll go. Hey, we got the right price for it. Damn, 500 is... Still. Right, so what have we learned there? 3,000... 500 is nowhere near, so we'll just halve that to 250. Um, and we know that that is just slightly out, so. As are those. Meanwhile, we know that they're the right price. Over there. Nice. I don't know why I got the idea that they're the right prices. We we don't know. Mm -hmm. See, there we go. Got the right price for them. 
Meanwhile, them. Too cheap. Good to know. We already knew that was the right price, so. They're also too cheap. God damn, and them. Not great. Not great at all. Right, we know they're right now. And them, and what about you? Oh, he's still so annoyed. Right, uh... I don't, do I not already have the price for them? No. So... Let's think. Right. Cool. We sorted them out. As for everyone else. Not great. And fine, and you're still annoyed, okay. Damn it. Right. Oop, sorry. Huh. Oh, we don't know whether that works, right. 250. So 250. As for them, 100. I don't think they're. I think they're this dungeon's uh, shoving the merchant mirror items. To be honest. Now what? What it take to get these? Off my hands. 75? You just turned your nose up at that, didn't you? I saw that. About now. Nope. Okay, so they're also this dungeon's merchant mirror item. If I can't sell them, then... There's really no point in keeping them. Okay, so they sell. These still don't. That's not brilliant. I'm near the end of the day and the end of the episode. Finally! Holy crap. Right. Alright, everyone, out of the shop. We're ending this. So what have we learned today? Um, over preparation is better than under preparation. Sure, it might make some bosses irrelevant, but it fills and works for us to beat this in the 10 lives that we're given. Um, the second dungeon is full of junk. And people always want a bargain. I've given them too much of a bargain, but it's fine. We'll sort it. So, like, share, subscribe. Tell me how. Uh, tell me the prices of all these items, actually. And um, we will see you next week. So long.